Hey everybody. In this video, I want to show you guys what the Zen Estimate HVAC 2022 QTO or Quantity Takeoff Profile does, how it works, and how it can benefit your business and, and speed up your takeoff processes. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to load it. Uh, once you've got the, the Zen Estimate HVAC 22 uh, tools installed on your Bluebeam system, you're just going to go up to Review, Profiles. Right, and you're going to select the Zen Estimate HVAC QTO. It should automatically appear in your drop down. You just click on that and it'll load all the tools that you see over here on the left side of my screen. Right? And we should be all set and ready to go. So the idea with this is really, really, it's a very simple setup. Right, We're really focusing under the QTO profile on uh, manufacturing. Right, Really, you know, pieces, how many pieces you need, what size pieces, what the weight is, what gauge, and so on. Um, so for example, you can see that in this plan, I've got, you know, basic 12 by 12 and a 16 by 12 duct with a reducer working in there. So I'm just going to show you how this would work, right? So I'm just going to go in, I'm going to go to our rectangular duct. I'll just start at the bottom and, and kind of work my way up here. So I'm going to start with a basic 12 inch duct, right? And I'm just going to kind of run it, you know, just zoom in here a little bit, um, you know, from center to center right here to where the reducer is. And I'll just double click to end that. And you see it pulls in my 12 inch duct and down here on the bottom, you see that I can go in and it's already starting to populate some of this information, but I can modify it. So you see that it came in with the default of a 12 by 18, but this is actually a 12 by 12 duct, so I can easily just change it. And you see that it's going ahead and it's it's defaulted to a 26 gauge aluminum. It's calculating the weight, right? And I can go in here and change that and say, hey, you know what? We're using an 18 gauge uh, for this particular setup. You see it's recalculating all the weight for us. I, I also have the ability in here to go in with the QTO and set the seam types, right? So that I know how these are going to be pieced together for circular ducts or, or you know, multi um multi-piece, you know, rectangles, right? Different types of, you know, standing well, flat lock, gore lock. I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know, this is a snap, snap lock seam that we're going to use to put that 12 inch duct together. All right. And then the other thing I can do here is I can go in and I can pull standard stock widths, all right? And the standard stock width is going to tell me how many pieces I'm going to need, all right, to create from, from this. So if I say, hey, I've got a 36 inch stock width that I'm using to, to you know, build this piece, I'm going to need to cut, to cut this out into like five pieces. I'll get five pieces of 12 inch stuff that I'm going to need using a 36 inch wide uh, stamp like that. All right. So that's kind of the setup that we're working with right there. Right. And I can continue on with this really easily and go up to the 16 by 12 duck and I just do exactly the same thing. I'll just go to the 16 and I'll run it from, you know, here to here. Right. And same kind of setup, right. I can go in and choose. This is a 16 by 12. Right. Again, I'll set it for like an 18 gauge. Right, and I'll set it to kind of the same setup here. Right? It's going to be a snap lock, but we've only got you know 24 inch in 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 this particular uh, gauge, right? So we see we're going to get a different set. Oops, sorry, I chose 36. We're going to do a 24 inch, and you see I get a different you know number of pieces that I'm going to use. And then I can easily go back in and I can add in things like my reducers, right? So I need a 16 by 12 reducer. So I can just go to my rectangular reducers, pull a 16 inch reducer, and you see it lines up on the 16 side here. I can put that in, and I can do multiples if I need to. But in this case, I'm just going to work with the one. You see, same thing here. I can go in and say, hey, what type of reducer is that? Oh, that's going to be a 16 by 12 reducer. I'm going to go from a 16 inch duct down. Right? And same thing. I can go in and set the gauge. Maybe we're going to use 20 gauge aluminum on that. Right? And we're all set. It gives us all the basic information that we need to be able to go in and, and you know, do our takeoffs. Right. And we can go in and add things. You know, for example, uh, you know, we've got all our standard tools and sets that we can work in here for things like supply return, right? So I've got some, uh, you know, standard linear slot grills in here. I can just go in and throw in my symbols on here for those. Right? And then once I've got those in place, you see I've got two of them that I, and I can go and I can choose, hey, that's a 72 inch linear slot. And I can just start taking and generating all the information that I need. Like I said, our focus here with the, the QTO profile is on working with the manufacturing to set up how many pieces you're going to need, how they're going to go together, right? So that's the kind of functionality that you get built into the Zen Estimate HVAC 2022 uh, QTO takeoff profile.